okay, now that it is actually wet season, I know we only have three more months before we have to face another glow. And I don't know you guys, as much fun as I'm having working on our biology, I'm a little bit worried that perhaps we should be working on some of our toughness and bravery so that we can try to survive whatever our second glow season has to throw at us. So hello everyone and welcome back to our journey with Solceria here on the first human colony set out in space on Vertumna, where we're actually currently hiding a secret from everyone with our friend Cal by going ahead and taking good care of his new pet caterpillar, alien caterpillar, which I'm sure is going to result in everything being fine. Cal is kneeling in the dirt, carefully planting pieces of potato. When I was a kid, I thought everything grew from chopped up pieces of bigger things. I mean, that's how it works for potatoes and onions. He sits back on his heels, a funny look on his face. I guess I'm a- <laughs> Wait, he sits back on his heels, a funny look on his face. I guess, I guess I must have never thought about how babies are made, huh? <laughs> Whoa! So we can actually, if we get biology 80 or greater, gain radioactive plant? Oh man. Okay, look, I really wanted to go ahead and like maybe work on our toughness, but that might just pull me over into continuing on the biology route. An enemy holds her, holds her palms up to you excitedly. So Syria, look! Her palms are covered with a collection of scrapes and blue flaky scales. I'm getting tougher every day! Oh, okay, so she's doing good. Tang? Yep, Tang still doesn't want to talk to us. <sighs> I can't always focus on my reasoning, Tang. Dai sits before a collection of rocks, grouped by color and texture. As you watch, he takes another rock from his pockets and stacks it with its kin. He looks up at you. What? He says flatly. You have never seen rocks before? <laughs> Alright, thanks, Dai. Then, alright, Mars, I'll just say hi to you real quick. Mars's pockets are bursting with candy. I'm so glad the shop is open, she says, pulling a piece of soy taffy with her teeth until it snaps. It's honestly not even worth living if I can't shop. Huh. Well, I'm glad I find a lot more things to be cheerful and optimistic about. And then mom just wants us to be working and dad doesn't have time to chat. All right, got it, fam. Let's go ahead and yeah, actually we are gonna carry on. <laughs> <laughs> with the xenobotany because I think I think and I could be wrong but I think if we can actually get it up to 60 we might be able to do something new that might not be the case but I want to give it a good try still waiting on collecting those mushwood samples you can putter around the lab working on other stuff in the meantime but you really need those samples if you want to move ahead with that project got it I wish I could collect them all right, five kudos if equals total strength. I am not using my mushwood this time. Hey, and there's actually like quite a few things going on over here, aren't there? So let's see. One extra card when drawn, and then we can use Cal's strength if we wanted to. All right, I think we're gonna leave out playing sports ball because then we can do this. What? That didn't, what? Hold up here! I could have sworn that was going to like give us something pretty strong. Um, Alright, so that's eight. And then we can have Cal's strength. What? I absolutely need to go ahead and figure out a way to not have to deal with... That's actually probably better. Then we get more of a streak. I see, I see. Um, there! Oh my gosh. I need to figure out a way to get rid of some of our old memories for sure. <laughs> Yay! And our organizing is slowly but surely going up, so hopefully that'll make mom happy. Man, it's already mid-wet. I really don't know how I feel about that. Uh, and I don't know if we'll be able to hit the 60 in biology if it's just like three at a time. But I would need to get to like... 30 toughness, I think, before anything would happen there. My empathy could probably use a little bit of work too, but I don't really know where I would use that except with Mars. All right, anything else from everybody? Your mom seems unbothered by the torrential rain. She tips her face up to the sky and smiles. The rain means the hardest work is done for the year, she says. The greenhouses are a lot easier to manage than the outdoor fields, and we won't need to worry about planting until quiet. 
Oh, I love how everyone's adapting to a new life here on this planet. Hey, Sunbury, your dad greets you. Working hard or hardly working? He laughs and ruffles your hair. <laughs> He's such a sweet guy. Dees sits before a collection of rocks, grouped by color. Oh, he's still working on his rocks. Hey, Cal. How's the how's the little guy? Okay, no news on that. And you know what? Maybe I will work on my toughness because if we can get to twenty or a bravery, hmm, maybe bravery would be good. Man, man, an enemy. And yes, okay. So she's doing good. Tangent, just gonna ignore me again. Yep, yep. All right, that's fine. So. Again, I'm kind of... <laughs> An enemy looks out from under the dugout, awning and scowls. Stupid rain, stupid planet, she grumbles. I just want to go play. Thank you, anemone. I'm actually trying to like look at the garrison, though. So we can play sports ball to get a little bit of toughness and bravery. We can do defense training for combat and animals. And we can relax on the walls to really like calm down and maybe forget a memory. I think we might relax on the walls like next time? Oh, wait, I can actually buy something with my kudos. All right, let's take a peek at what, what we could potentially buy. Because last time we ended up getting uh, a special card, but it, I don't think it's activated yet. And that's the photo phoner. Plus one to all social cards. Plus five persuasion. Plus one to bonus pairs. Plus five to animals. I think we're going to go ahead and get the animals one. Plus one to all flushes. Because I would just really love to be able to see how that works. Probably I should be saving those for something. And since we just spent it, maybe I'll try the xenobiology again? <sighs> I have a feeling we're not becoming very well balanced though. But, I mean, okay. We would need like, what, 20 toughness? But I guess if we never develop it, we're not going to get any tougher. And I actually think, knowing that it's going to be glow season, this would probably make us nervous enough that we would want to go ahead and start doing some more training. So play sports ball. That's only toughness and bravery. All right, maybe actually moving the soil will work better. Because when we do soil movement in here, shoveling the dirt, we do get three toughness. Hmm, I really do like all the cooters. We're going to shovel dirt. You and Cal goof off a lot while you're shoveling. It helps pass the time, because otherwise, you just think about the dirt and how much your arms hurt. He loves to make up games while you're working, or to sing silly songs. He really likes this game where you build a story by alternating saying one word at a time. Feast till my heart. That totally sounds like me! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny, but it legitimately sounds like something I would do. Okay, so let's see if we could get a little line up there. First words. Gosh darn it! Okay, I'm gonna have to like do a little bit better here, I think. And then two, two, two. There we go. You really have to start working on how everything will match up with your little streaks if you wanna get things done. All right, so mid wet. Did that help out my toughness a little bit? It did. And I think we just need to be at 20 toughness before they're gonna let us out or something along those lines, right? Yeah, let's work on getting to 20 toughness. Also possibly going ahead and reducing my stress because it's getting kind of high, but... <sighs> okay, yeah, Cal's doing good. Deese, you doing good? Yeah, he's playing with his rock collection. Sometimes they say something new that really gives you some insight into their personalities, unless you're tangent, in which case you really have to like earn your place to even be allowed to talk to her. All right. An enemy, do you know where any mushlogs are? I really want those mushlogs. Any of them hanging out around here? Probably not. But hey, maybe if we work really hard on our toughness, we'll be allowed to like go outside soon. So let's shovel more dirt. You, you join Cal at a particularly fragrant pile of compost. He's trying to use his hoverboard as a wheelbarrow, carefully pushing compost off it into the pile. Don't you, don't you just love this? Cal asks excitedly. So he's using his hoverboard. Um, what, the stinky rotten food scraps? Your hoverboard? Yeah, that's cool. Dirt. I guess it's okay. Yeah, we'll say dirt. No, no, he laughs. I mean, just this. He waves his arms, dirt encrusted up to the elbows, to take in the entire greenhouse. 
We get to help plant stuff and watch it grow. Even if we're just moving dirt around, we're still helping. Why do you like it so much? Versus, but it's boring. Why do you like it? Because I, I think just being in that environment would also make me really happy in real life as well as, as this, this amazing space life. So I could totally understand why he would feel that way. Um, well, he considers. I like digging holes in the dirt because it's so full of surprises down there. I found a worm. Wait, let me see if I can find her again. He sticks his hand into the compost and rummages around, his tongue sticking out of his mouth. I guess she got away, he says after a minute. She was real shiny, like a rainbow. Wait, he says. I just thought of a thing I like better. He shows you his splayed hand. Getting dirt underneath my fingernails, he laughs. I don't know why, but it's the best. Cal! <laughs> Isn't his name like Cal Califerson or something like that, which I really love? Um. Okay, so we're shoveling dirt. Plus one. Whoops. Okay, let me do this. Um... Do this, do this, do this, do this. No. <laughs> Card becomes a two, so that would cancel out. Man, okay. Plus one card to the right. Man, am I gonna have to, I don't, I don't have, oh. This, this is, this sucks sometimes. We only have nine, because we don't. Ugh. All right, we're gonna push through even though it's gonna make us stressed because I needed that toughness. There's a commotion in the square, as ex an expedition's vehicle has driven through the gates and is idling in the middle of the square, an unusual sight. People come down from command to investigate. Who is that? Utopia gets out of the vehicle and trudges over to Edicott. After a brief conversation, you see Edicott gesture for the people to unload the vehicle and clear the area. You stay out of the way to see what they're unloading. Excuse me? It's a body. Chief Surveyor Tonin's body. Someone quickly covers him with a sheet, but not before the image of his torn open body is seared into your memory. However he died, it was violent and bloody. You feel your stomach cramp with nausea. What happened? Dees asks, coming around to crouch around the corner with you. You share that Uncle Tonin is dead, and he stares at the sheet-covered body intensely, as if he could see through it. Did they say how? Um, they never tell us the truth anyway. Well, they have been lying to us, and I think I would be so rattled and, like, scared. That's what I would probably actually say. Nobody will tell the kids what's really happened. Did something eat him? Did he get lost or fall off a cliff? Do they even know? Dees nods, frowning. They don't want us to know about the monsters. And other worse stuff. They want us to think everything's fine, but it's not. This planet isn't as nice as they say. He shakes his head. They hate that they can't control us. You and Deese watch the adults carry Uncle Tonin's body away. From the way he's practically vibrating, you can tell Deese wants to ask more questions about what happened. After a few awkward minutes, he sneaks away without saying anything, probably to try to go look at the body. At least Tammy isn't around to see this, you think. At least they're together now, wherever people go to die, or go when they die. Oof. Man. My head's spinning right now. You watch Utopia bend over to get a hug from Edicott, wiping her eyes as she finally cries. Edicott has never been the most comforting presence in your life, but it seems to help. Utopia will probably be the next chief surveyor. At 24, she'll be the youngest council member. She was only a toddler when the stratosphere left Earth. Apparently, her sharp eye and hoverbike flying skills are the best in expeditions. Whoa. All of this just in time for glow season. Oh, I really don't know about this, guys. I... I really don't know about this. And I'm really stressed. And I'm kind of spooked. And, like, there's just a lot going on and a lot to process. I mean, Uncle Tonin is now dead too? Deese, what do you think about all this? Deese pokes a glowing bubble bud with his toe. The seed head snaps free and drifts up into the dark of glow, slowly breaking up into little luminescent specks. Make a wish, he says. 
An enemy? An enemy holds her palms up to you excitedly. So, Syria, look! Yeah, she is getting tougher every day. And now we can actually train with her, but what a time to train when she's apparently going to teach us, like, a violent tale and we get that card. Mom? Your mom gives you a stern look. Be careful, she warns you. Now that we know for a fact it isn't safe out there during glow, I won't have you venturing close to the walls. Stay where I can see you, close to the ship. <sighs> Uncle Toggin. You guys. What a sad turn of events. And to be honest, it really does kind of scare me. Because what is out there? What is it that's haunting us? I think as much as I love playing in the greenhouses and pretending that alien caterpillars with sharp teeth can be pets instead of pests, or possibly deadly things that are going to eat us, we probably really need to start working on getting stronger so that hopefully we'll just be able to survive. If you guys would like to join me on this adventure, you know what to do. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you all next time.